Dave, we're actually looking ahead to the third race on the card, and we're speaking to a man who needs no introduction to Ohio Harness Racing. It's horseman Earl Bowman, who's the trainer and the uh, owner and the breeder and the groom and everything else with number one sweet potato chips in the third race. What a filly, Earl. She's won 11 of 12 this year. She's been a pretty nice filly. There's always that first time that she can get beat. She got beat once, but she uh, had a right to. She, it wasn't because she didn't go fast enough. It was just because they had a little accident. And she so she had an excuse why she got beat there. Now, her stablemate won yesterday for you, bang the door. Can you compare the two fillies? Is this one actually a little better? Maybe just a tick better, but they're pre pretty uh, even. They're a pretty nice pair of fillies. Now, you are no stranger to this oval here at Delaware. It seems no. to me I can remember back in the late 60s, maybe, you dead heated in the Ohio Standard Bread with another time, yeah. who was one of your yeah. best horses. Yeah, he was a nice horse. We had uh, four of them cool at the same time. And four full brothers went all beat two minutes in one afternoon. And that was back when two minutes really meant something. something. Yeah, that's right. Now, those horses were owned, I believe, by Elbridge Moxley out of the broodmare Gene Brewer. You and Elbridge Moxley have been together for a long time. Uh, 53 years. We've had, I've had horses for Elbridge for 53 years. Now, how did you uh, guys meet and get hooked up? Well, we got uh, met through a, a little pony he had. I used to train saddle horses, and he uh, wanted me to train this little pony to the cart, and uh, that's the way we got started. Now, nowadays in uh, harness racing, it seems like the owners are changing trainers all the time. The minute they uh, don't do well or whatever, well, we're switching to another barn. Yet you guys, 53 years together, I'm sure it's developed into a lot more than just an owner-trainer yeah. relationship. That's for sure. Elbridge has been real good to me. Yeah. Now, you are 74 years old, still going strong, still yeah. train a big stable at the Medina, Ohio Fairgrounds. How do you do it? Oh, well, we get up early every morning and we go right through them. Now, you yeah. don't drive much anymore, but occasionally do you still take a turn in the yeah. sulky? Yeah, I like to drive one once in a while, yeah. Kind of keeps you yeah. sharp. Yeah, that's right. Now, do you train any trotters at all, or do you yeah. just have pacers? We've got a trotter in this afternoon, my striking Lisa in the 13th. Is she as good as sweet potato chips? Well, she's a nice filly. She's been trotting good, uh, real good. She was second in the sire stakes a couple of times, and she's been trotting good. Now, Dave Miller has never driven sweet potato chips, and I guess he'd never driven bang the door yesterday. No. What instructions do you give a guy like him before the race? I don't give him any instructions at all. I just let him do it on his own. Delaware, Ohio, the he, home of the Little Brown Jug. Have you ever raced in the Little Brown Jug yourself, Earl? Yes, I raced a horse called About Time in the Jug and finished fourth with him. So you made the final then? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and he was uh, fifth in the final. Well, you got a check anyhow, which yeah. is a lot more than a lot of people can yeah. say, and at least you were you were in the big show here at Delaware, and I know racing here is probably very special to you. Uh, I had another horse called Cervantes Osborne, a two-year-old, that set a uh, world's record here uh, as a two-year-old in 156 at that time. Well, Earl Bowman, still going strong at age 74. Best of luck to awesome. you. Best of luck to you today, and thanks for joining us. Thank you.